So can Siddharamaya survive the storm? Can Karnataka's chief minister survive the storm? Chandan Gowda, Ramakrishna Hegde chair, professor at ISAC Bengaluru joins me. Abraham TJ is the anti-corruption activist. It was his petition that has now snowballed into this major controversy. Deepak Thimaya, a spokesperson Congress. Bhaskar Rao, former IPS and BJP spokesperson, was a BJP candidate in the last election. I appreciate all of you joining me here on the show today. But Mr. Thimaya, you must answer the question. The fact at the end of the day is the Lokayukt has begun its investigation. The ED has filed a preliminary inquiry into the case. Is it tenable for the chief minister to continue till such time as these cases are decided? Can the person in the office face such serious charges from ED, CBI and indeed the Lokayuk and remain in the chair? Um, good evening, Mr. Sardesai. I would like to answer this question, of course, because I don't think that this also qualifies to be called a scam. I think we should make the distinction because uh, if at all the opposition is calling it a scam, I think it very well knows that this could be at maximum uh, a political misconduct that they are trying to brand it as uh, a scam. But I don't think it's a political misconduct too, because this is about a lady who is not even in politics and she was never involved in any decision making. She never held any power and she's the one who lost the land. And all that she was trying to say is that you've already developed the land uh, that was supposed to have, that is supposed to be mine. And all that I'm asking is that give me lands that are supposed to be in that proportion that's legally to be given and in a place where it's not developed at all. And I don't think that, you know, I mean, to bring in a person and make somebody else responsible and all that, I think that Mr. Abraham also knows it very well. But, uh, but I think to, uh, to call it even a scam is a little... Um, uh, are you saying that, and, no, uh, are you saying, sir, <laughs> I, I, I want your... When you say it's a scam and misconduct, give me your distinction. Are you saying that? No, no, I'm not. No, no, say, I'm I, not are you saying the chief minister and his family did not get undue benefit from getting no, these properties allowed? How do they decide it, Mr. Sardesai? First of all, most of the things, like in the 2G case and most of the other cases, also when something is speculative and hypothetical, you don't actually are able. I mean, are in a position to. You're not in a position to actually, you know, quantify the benefit. Mm -hmm. I'm here. You're talking about PMLA and ED and things like that, where you're talking about, uh, you know, uh, deceit and you're talking about fraud, you're talking about financial benefit. Mm -hmm. And this was done between a private individual and the government authority and the government authority, if at all it had done anything, and there was a very clear law available at that time for the government authority to do it. Okay. So to be able to call it a scam, I think it's a little far-fetched, don't you think so? Okay, let, let me ask this to the to Abraham TJ, the anti-corruption activist whose petition in the court in July triggered this off. You're hearing what, what is being said by Mr. Thimaya. He says that at best you yes. can call it political misconduct, at best, which he also denies, claiming that due process according to him was followed and Siddharamaya and family are not the only beneficiaries. There were several others who followed an existing law which had been created. Now, Mr. Timaya comes from a, a journalistic background. Mm. I, I pose this question to Mr. Timaya, to his conscience. Mr. Timaya, your uh, chief minister's wife, it's not my statement, it's her statement, 2014, 2021, and the last one yesterday night, she mentioned that her land has been occupied by Moda. When did you say Muda occupied? 2001. And what did Muda do? Carve out roads, parks, and sites and distribute it to beneficiaries. Who said so? Not me. It was Mrs. Sidramaya's wife. And based on those letters by uh, uh, Mr. Sidramaya's wife, 2014 and 2021, these sites were allotted. Where was Sidramaya's family in 2001? They were not there because 2004, Sidramaya's brother-in-law allegedly, allegedly, I'm very cautious in using the term, allegedly bought a land which was supposed to be uh, agricultural land when, by the uh, statement of uh, Mr. Sidramaya's wife, uh, 
that it is already developed developed in 2001 and distributed where were they who are they how do they claim compensation for a land which they were not even there so you are saying that you are saying they got Let you are saying anything. correct me if i'm wrong you are saying the scam as you call it is that they got prime plots allotted to them even without necessarily having for nothing in lieu of nothing in in lieu of nothing in lieu of nothing right who are they mr sardesh sai see the law is very clear now i am not going to say uh, for the argument sake i am saying yes muda has unauthorizedly occupied lands in that particular survey number whose land i am not mentioning they have unauthorizedly occupied since 2009 uh, uh, 1998 onwards they unauthorizedly occupied they carved out roads They, uh, and you are saying that, and, and you are saying site. that, all this is, and you are saying I'm that land was not Sidaramaiah's wife. Let me complete. Let me complete. Let me complete. Now Sidaramaiah's wife, uh, brother-in-law, comes into the picture in 2004. Mm-hmm. The 2005 he gets a land converted. 2010 he gifts. By 2010 it is 12 years past mm-hmm. the unauthorized occupancy by Muda. Mm-hmm. Now 2021. 2014 sorry 2014 she makes her first uh, application asking for compensation by and till then not a single soul has gone against the unauthorized they have not even whispered okay. and claimed that there is unauthorized occupancy what does the law of the land say the law of the land says 12 years mr sardar sai if you have some property and somebody in public has unauthorizedly occupied your land for 12 years the original owner mr sardai sai loses his property right okay so you are saying that for life. 12 years now from 19 I, I, 12 years till till, till now till see, even today as we speaking there is no claim that there is unauthorized who okay. has gone to the court okay i take your point let me let me for a moment bring in baskar rao because baskar rao the congress interestingly says the bjp mr boma's government made the allotment was made when the bjp was in power so their argument is what leg does the bjp have to stand for it is the bjp which then allotted this prime land to uh, sidaramaiah's family so today if the bjp says that mr sidaramaiah is guilty of corruption or his family is guilty of corruption should they have done should they have cancel these dealings particularly when they were in power why did they allow his wife to get this benefit this is a very weak argument being advanced by them that it was sidaramaiah who got this land during bjp till by misrepresenting facts misrepresenting information he has been able to get all this and he has put things by virtue of the influ- by being influential in that part and he has intimidated those people and got this in his position and mind you rajdeep a thief who returns stolen property does not absolve him of theft mm. out of panic now they are returning the property because they are not going to be able to face ed now sidramaya has a huge so called hallowed reputation that is an honest etc which is a big bogus he has got over 55 cases criminal cases of corruption against him which he got it closed by closing down the karnataka lok ayukta and starting a acb okay. then finally acb let me let me complete and then this particular case also over there he is going to face investigators of pmla investigators as well as acb investigators now by returning the property in no way he does it we all have got the highest respect for shrimati parvati sidaramaiah mm-hmm. across political parties she has never used any political influence and it is a shame that such a respected revered lady has to be brought to this level for furthering their political needs over there okay. everybody has got the highest respect correct. Correct. now correct. sidaramaiah correct. has to face the criminal consequences of his actions over there just because he closed down acb etc is not the final nail on the coffin came from from malikarjun kharge who said party is important persons are not important that led to the panic of sidramaya to hand over all these sites over there okay. it is a courtier in mysore which is making him do all these things and being benefited and as regards any beneficiary is concerned bharatiya janata party says whether they be from bjp also go behind them take the strictest legal action whether they are from bjp or from jds or anybody buda should get cleaned and okay. that's all okay you're saying whether it's from bjp or congress all those who are beneficiaries of this land allotment scheme 
should face the music. Chandan Gauda, which brings me to the question land. It almost seems land is at the center at the moment of most controversies and allegations of scam in Karnataka simply because of the large benefits involved, the disproportionate increase the moment I get prime property of this size in the heart of Mysore. Do you concede that land in a way is responsible for what is being called as the corruption of Karnataka politics? Now, Deep, it, it's not the most important driver of corruption, but it is definitely one of the you know mechanisms that is driving corruption because you know urban land, especially in Mysore, Bangalore, Bangalore, other cities, is you know extremely expensive and it's also a, a way of parking black money easily. Right, you buy it for X and you get registered for X minus something. It's a nice way of storing cash for future use, and future use in the case of politicians is almost always about bankrolling their election expenses that keep spiraling out of control every election. Mm -hmm. So it's, in fact, what I'm saying is, you know, ordinary knowledge. Everyone knows it, Rajdeep. And the reason land has become so uh, important uh, is reflected in the fact that so many of our legislators have a real estate background. Mm -hmm. You know, the Association of Democratic Reform did a survey a few years ago. More than a third of the elected legislators have a real estate background. So there's no... Uh, nothing mystifying about any of this. Everyone knows about it. When political parties use the word winnability also easily. Now the question is, how do you go about making sure that it doesn't prove relevant in elections? But, but, and that's what I think, well, well, you know, where are regulatory agencies? Actually, very quickly, when hmm. the ED says money laundering, you know, it's clear that there's something wrong here. You know, the sites weren't sold. Where's the question of laundering any money? And especially by someone who doesn't own the plots, right? So there is so there is that aspect to it, regulatory agencies being misused, which means that we need regulatory agencies that are autonomous in principle and in practice. Yeah, sure. But there the are two, you know, whether whether there is money laundering or not, clearly there is enough prima facie to order an investigation. Whether yes. that investigation yes. is yes. done yes. by Lokayu or yes. whether yes. you can argue that the money laundering charge yeah, may I be could, questionable, yeah, but the Lokayu so. needs yes. to look at misuse of power. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Abraham, you uh, want Rajiv, to respond. Rajiv, very quickly, Rajdeep, very quickly, the letter that no, no, Mrs. Sikramaya has written last night mm. doesn't ask for the investigation to be stopped. She's saying, I'm giving it up, let the investigation continue. Let's be clear about this. Okay. The giving up of plots is not about halting investigation. Okay, it's let, a let, of a let Mr. Stand. Abraham respond. Uh, uh, Mr. Sardesai, you just posed a question to somebody, and uh, this was re re relating to the term of BJP when the sites were allotted. I'll give you a small example. They have a biryani is prepared. When uh, all the ingredients for the biryani is all made, cooked, uh, uh, all, everything placed into that thing and uh, it's boiled and they, all those things. And finally, there is a lid which is put on the uh, uh, the vessel. Mm -hmm. And then there is a process of the, the fire road, uh, burning fire road being placed. That is called, uh, uh, I don't know what you call in Hindi. Uh, now, Kanda uh, TV in Canada, we say this also. When we put that BJP, his role came there, they did not know what was there in the vessel. It was already closed. There was a little smell, good smell. They thought everything is fine. They did not know whether there was uh, no, is chicken, it that or is it that there were people meat. across? No, no, Mr. Abraham, is it that or is it that there were people across no, no, parties no. who are benefiting? I'll, I'll come to that. There's a, uh, Mr. Sardesai, there's, don't get confused. There are two issues. One is irregularity. Another one is this case is illegality. The other one, that everybody is trying to mention other uh, political party names, mm -hmm. are people who are supposed to get sites in Z layout. Have, because of their influence, they have got it in A layout. Okay. Or somebody who... who, who and who and in the case of Sidharamaya, uh, you're saying... Has got 60, 40. In, in Sidharamaya, you're saying it's illegality. illegality. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, Mr. Thibaya... The are ill irregularity. Okay, Mr. Thibaya... Respond Mr. Mr. because Mr. I think uh, that I think Mr. what Mr. has been Mr. suggested Mr. is but, you know, but Mr. Sidharamaya will have a lot to answer for. You can't simply now say my wife is returning the 14 plots and therefore the case ends. No, no, but but that was never said anywhere at all. Nobody is even you know bringing it up saying that you know, first of all, Mr. Baskar Rao, of course, a very knowledgeable person, very experienced, and of course, he can you know talk about law so much. But I think he should also understand. Uh, you can't just brand something as a crime and then talk about it because I think there is more. Why are you stolen property? 
word <laughs> word play here mr baskar rao but let me tell you, you for example let, 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 let me just finish it let me just finish your no he wants to know uh, no no mr thimaya uh, baskar rao wants to know why are you returning the property if there is no corruption returning involved? the property is basically because i don't think that it's so important for her to keep the property and actually what do you say relish the proceeds because she wants to give it away and clear at least on her part because if mr baskar rao says and also mr abraham agrees that she is an honorable woman i think she want doesn't want to have anything with it and today here we are very clearly saying we are talking about mrs parvati and we are alleging something of uh, you know mr sidramaya let me tell you mr sarvesai because it i think it's very simple i can ask uh, even for the prime minister's house or even the parliament to be made mine but whoever is giving it to me should be worried about the legal consequences they should but invest it is not an they should apply mine they can't just give court. anything to anybody i can ask to you then finally also one, 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 one by one one by one mr sardes say mr sidramaya has answered these questions or the uh, as countered mr timaya so about 5 years 6 years ago when uh, edirappa returned the site after an allegation after a, a certain mm. period mr sidramaya in no uncertain terms said he site na wapas kotrodu because he has accepted his guilt he has returned the site This is the statement of so Mr. Sidramaya. So you're saying you're I saying returning the, the sites is an acceptance of guilt, Mr. Bhaskar Rao. The question of money laundering is yes. this a case which should be handled by the Lok Ayuk, or do you believe the ED is being brought in only to somehow uh, uh, create the impression that this is not just about local corruption? There is money laundering under PMLA involved. There is a huge amount of money that has been laundered. Sites have been allotted left and right without any regard for rules and regulations. and ed is only investigating the proceeds of ill gotten wealth so having got panic sidramaya has made his wife to return sidramaya's wife has never taken a decision to acquire 14 sites nor hand over 14 sites she has only been signing on the dotted line as a good human being as a supporter over there right so plenty of money is there which are part of the ill gotten wealth okay. which sidramaya I... and his coterie have I... Look, I, I have thirty seconds, and I want to bring in Chandan that. Gowda. Chandan Gowda, either way, should a chief minister who lays great store, he says, by personal property, step aside till such time as his name is cleared? Well, Rajdeep, it's up to him really. There's ninety days left for the Lok Ayukt to complete his investigation. Yes, it would be good if he stepped down, but it's really he should take the decision. I don't think there can be a public demand that he step down. Mm-hmm. It's really his decision and his conscience. Either way. I don't think one can object to whatever he decides. Okay, so you're saying the 90 days that the Lok Ayukt has, uh, 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 yes, Mr. Abraham, 30 seconds also to you. See, see, see. There, there's another incident which happened a little earlier, uh, a few years ago. I was a complainant against Mr. Sidramaya in the Hublo Watch issue. The moment the issue came up, when I went to the Lok Ayukt and uh, filed a complaint, he immediately returned the uh, watch. He said, "I don't want the watch." I don't want this uh, confusion. He could have done that with this uh, 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 this but case also. But... He he challenged at every point. He said, "No, it's mine. It's sixty-two crores worth. Why should I give it up?" He has claimed it is his. I am not saying it is okay. his. Okay. He himself has claimed. Okay. Yes, Mr. Thimaya, you are thirty seconds. uh see mr sardes i think it's very simple when the land was like you're talking about who the land was with and all it is a practice among a lot of people and i'm sure that all these things only after getting digitized people have been very particular about you know like the familial kind of you know transactions and within the like what you can say is that like the closed to transaction rather than open transactions where the land had to be converted and given to somebody and you know like you had to sell it to someone or what if it all which was within right. the family i think there was a pause possibility that the fab, the property was already with this family and uh, and i'm sure that is the case that's why she kept claiming because i okay. because he was the, the I, because because he was not in power in any right. of okay i have yeah. heard your 30 seconds yes mr baskar rao your 30 seconds they have been continuously blaming central investigating agencies when a crime is there and they have stepped in let them defend themselves why is it that they are saying that they are being cornered over there that's all okay let's leave it there we leave it as as one of our guests said uh, to perhaps sidaramaiya's conscience does he believe that he must first get his reputed name cleared by the lok ayukt should he step aside till then or does he believe that this entire muda scam as it's being called 
is uh, being used to get him to leave the chair. We leave it perhaps to the conscience of the Chief Minister of Karnataka for now.